Circum, intersection with axes. Find the points of intersection between the circle x minus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared is 25 and the x-axis. Here's an example of a circle and the x-axis. The circle is at center 2, 4 with a radius of 5 and it cuts the x-axis here at approximately minus 1 and 5. How would we solve that algebraically? Well, there's a note that states that the x-axis is also the line y equals 0. If we take the points on the x-axis, this is the point 0, 0, 1 0, 2 0, 3 0, minus 2 0, minus 3 0. The second variable is always 0. The x, y, the y is 0. So in effect, this line here is the y equals 0 line. It never gets to move up to 1, 2 or 3 or to minus. It's always y is 0. So in effect, it's an equation and we can find when it intersects with the other equation. So solving for the intersection, the original circle was x minus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared is 25. And we're going to see where that cuts the line y equals 0 by substituting the value y equal to 0 into this. So instead of x minus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared is 25, we have now x minus 2 squared plus 0 minus 4 squared equals 25. Solving now, we get x minus 2 squared plus, well, minus 4 by minus 4 is 16, is 25. Taking the 16 across, x minus 2 squared is 25 minus 16, or x minus 2 squared is 9. We can expand now, x minus 2 squared is x minus 2 by x minus 2 is 9, and multiplying across we have x by x is x squared, x by minus 2 is minus 2x, minus 2 by x is minus 2x, so that gives us a minus 4x, and minus by minus gives us the plus 4 here is 9. So if we take the 9 across now we get x squared minus 4x minus 5, 4 minus 9 is minus 5. And that's equal to 0. So in effect, we've got two factors, x minus 5 or x plus 1 equal to 0. So if that's the case, x is 5 or x is minus 1. So if x is 5 or x is minus 1, we know y is 0. So we're talking about the points 5 naught or minus 1 naught. So 5 naught minus 1 naught were the actual points of the intersection with the x-axis of this circle here. We now turn to the points of intersection between the circle x minus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared and 25 and the y-axis. Here we see it again in its original form and we can see that it cuts the y-axis somewhere short of 0 somewhere between 0 and minus 1, and somewhere between 8 and 9. Not clear exactly where, but somewhere there. Might say 8 and a half or minus a half, approximately. How do we find those points? Well, the y-axis is also the x equals 0 line, because the y-axis is just up and down. It never moves to the right or the left. So the first value is always 0. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, minus 1. So the x value is 0. So we can use this equation, x equal to 0, as a function and see where it intersects the circle. So solving for the intersection when x is 0, we say x minus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared is 25. And we, instead of x, we substitute the value 0. So we now have 0 minus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared is 25. Doing the algebra, 0 minus 2 is minus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared is 25. Minus 2 by minus 2 gives us a 4. 4 plus y minus 4 squared is 25. Now taking the 4 to the other side, we get y minus 4 squared is 25 minus 4. Or y minus 4 squared is 21. 
We can now expand that by rewriting it as y minus 4 by y minus 4 and cross multiplying y by y, y squared, y by minus 4 and y by minus 4, a total of minus 8y, and minus 4 by minus 4 is 16. So y squared minus 8y plus 16 is 21. And taking the 21 over to the other side, we find that y squared minus 8y minus 5 is 0. So looking at this from a factor point of view, the factors of minus 5 would be minus 5 and 1, and they don't seem to solve this minus 8 here. So we'll solve it using the quadratic equation formula. ay squared plus by plus c equals 0. Well, it's usually written as ax squared plus bx plus c, but any variable will work. So we're going to substitute y squared minus 8y minus 5 for a y squared plus b y plus c. So our coefficient in y squared is a or a y squared or 1 y squared. So a is 1. b y is minus 8 y, so b is minus 8. And c is minus 5. This yields, using the formula, minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. We simply substitute the values. We're given this formula. So b is minus 8, so uh, minus b would be plus 8. Plus or minus the square root of b squared would be minus 8 squared. Minus 4 times a, which would be 1. And c would be minus 5. So, and on the bottom we've got 2a, 2 times 1 there. So we now work on the arithmetic. The plus 8 comes down. Minus by minus is plus, 8 by 8 is 64, 4 by 5 is 20, minus by minus gives us a plus, 20 plus the 64 gives us the square root of 84. On the bottom, 2 times 1 is 2. So we have 8 plus or minus 9.165 if we do that on a calculator. Now taking the plus value, 8 plus, we get 17.165 over 2. Taking the minus, we get minus 1.165 over 2. So if we divide 17.165 over 2, we get plus 8.5825. And minus 1.165 over 2, we get minus 0.5825. So there are the y values. And we know the x values would be 0. So the x value would be 0 with that coefficient 8.5, or 0 with the coefficient minus 0.5825. And on the diagram we can see that if we plug in the numbers we can see that it is at the point 0, 8.5825 or 0, minus 0.5825. The points of intersection of the circle with the y axis.